Was there a resistance to that when that was first proposed? Yeah, one of my friends at Brian Schmidt got the Nobel Prize for that. And um, I remember I talked to him and he said, uh, he was a postdoc, I think at the time, so a young researcher. And he, made, he was making measurements of supernova, the light from supernova explosions, which are so bright that you can see them, you know, hundreds of millions, billions of light years away. And he noticed that if you look at the data, the light is stretched in the wrong way. So we, we look at the stretch of light as it travels across the universe and the universe is expanding. It stretches the light, so it changes the color. And he noticed that there was a discrepancy which, which said that the universe, that the expansion rate is speeding up. It's been speeding up for, um, I think something like 7 billion years or so, it's been speeding up. So he thought that he's done something wrong because it, you know, so, so he checked it and checked it and checked it and he couldn't find anything wrong. So he did what a good scientist does, which is he published it so that somebody else could find out what he'd done wrong. And he said that he thought it would be the end of his career. He thought he'd be a laughing stock, you know, and he got the Nobel Prize because he was right. <laughs> it, it is stretching. Wow. It's a great lesson. It means that if, you, if you're sure that you can't see what you've done wrong, then you publish it. Ultimately, we're not trying to be right. We're trying to find out stuff. And so the, a good scientist will be really happy if they turn out to be wrong because they've learned something. Now, that's the, that's the, it's good that he took yes. that path because he got the Nobel Prize. Now, when he received the Nobel Prize and this concept started being uh, discussed, what was the initial reaction to it? Well, it's, it's interesting because it, it's allowed in Einstein's theory and it was in Einstein's original theory. So it's, called, it's got a name, it's called the cosmological constant. And that's, um, it's uh, just allowed in the equations.